Good morning. Today we are going to see a step called transcription in protein synthesis. So what is transcription? We will see first. DNA is converted into RNA. Transcription. DNA is transcribed into RNA. This process is called transcription. Double strand DNA. There are two strands. They are running in opposite direction. One strand in 5 prime to 3 prime. Another in 3 prime to 5 prime. Already we have studied. And here the deoxyribonucleic acid is transcribed into single stranded RNA or ribonucleic acid, isn't it? What, are the, what is the difference between these two? Here it's a double stranded, here it's a single stranded. And the nitrogenous bases in DNA, they are, what are they? Adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. Yeah. But here the thymine in DNA is replaced by uracil in RNA. Yeah. So like this, the DNA is transcribed into RNA, then RNA is translated into protein, we will see next. So transcription process, we are going to see in detail, what are the three steps involved, we are going to see now. Now, what is the definition for transcription? The process of copying the genetic information from one strand of our DNA into RNA. That is, DNA usually consists of double helix, but only one strand of DNA is transcribed into its complementary RNA. Another strand, it is not transcribed, right? Copying the genetic information from one strand of DNA into RNA is called transcription. So, for this, the important enzyme which is involved here is DNA-dependent RNA polymerase, right? Yeah. Now, transcription, it takes place in retroviruses retrovirus are the viruses which are containing rna as their genetic material like a example hiv human immunodeficiency virus which causes the disease aids and this virus it consists of the ge genome or genetic material rna but the virus when it attacks the human being this rna of the virus is reverse transcribed into that is its rna is converted into DNA, human DNA, that I will explain to you. So, in retroviruses, RNA synthesizes DNA. RNA is a genetic material in HIV virus, right? Yeah? Now, this RNA, once again, it should be converted into DNA. When it is uh, entry inside the human body, we are having the human being, we are having the genetic material DNA, isn't it? So, RNA in virus, it is reverse transcribed into DNA. Right? This process of RNA synthesis DNA. DNA is converted into RNA is called transcription. In reverse. RNA in reverse it synthesis DNA is called reverse transcription. So then the DNA is once again transcribed into mRNA and then viral RNA, viral proteins are produced. So RNA is converted into protein means that is called as, what is it called? Translation process. Is it clear? Now we will see the next, uh, what are the steps involved in this. I said already, both the strands of the DNA are not transcribed. Both the strands are not involved in transcription. In this double helical strand, only one strand is involved. And, and this one strand, its complementary RNA is transcribed. Both the strands of DNA are not transcribed. Keep in your mind. What is the reason for this? First reason, if both the strands of the DNA act as template means they produce RNA with a different sequence. If both the strands it act as template or parental strand, it can produce uh, RNA two strands with a different sequence. It will lead to different protein sequence. Different proteins will be formed with different amino acids. So one segment of DNA alone it code for Two different proteins making this protein synthesis mechanism more complicated. That's why only one strand of DNA act as template. So only one strand act as template and produce only one RNA strand. What is another reason? If RNA molecules are produced simultaneously from the two strands, the two strands of DNA it can transcribe to produce two strands of RNA means double stranded RNA will be formed, isn't it? Which are complementary to each other is formed. Both are complementary to each other. So RNA, if it remains as complementary, it becomes stable and uh, it cannot get translated into protein. 
next step rna is converted into protein the translation won't occur right so because of these two reasons the both the strands of dna are not transcribed any one strand of dna alone involved in transcription right now we'll see the what are the three important regions of the transcription unit what is transcription we have studied dna is converted into rna is called transcription what are the three uh, unit parts of the transcription and which is involved the three regions promoter structural gene terminator so here this is the structural transcription unit here you can see first one is a red color is promoter and this violet color is terminator in between what is located here structural genes are located so promoter means what this red color promoter you think about the two strands one is called template strand this blue color and this green color is called coding strand isn't it now you can say first one what is a promoter it is nothing but a dna sequence where it is located towards the 5 prime end of the coding strand so dna sequence which is located towards the 5 prime end of the coding strand is called as promoter the place where rna polymerase enzyme can attach or bind okay it can this promoter only it can differentiate both the template strand as well as coding strand in eukaryotes the promoter is region called at rich region at na adenine thymine rich region it is also denoted as tata box or goldberg hognes box in eukaryotes called tata box in prokaryote the promoter is called pribnow box what is it called pribnow box apart from the promoter and they require some other enhancer for transcription so what is a promoter is a dna sequence located towards the five prime end of the coding strand which contain more at rich region that is tata box we call it as tata means thymine adenine thymine adenine prokaryote the promoter is called as pribnow box okay now what is the second part of the unit of transcription unit structural gene which is present in between the promoter and terminator okay the two strands of the dna in the structural gene which has opposite polarity the strand which consists of the polarity 3 prime to 5 prime direction is called as template strand okay and the strand which consists of 5 prime to 3 prime polarity is called coding strand okay now you'll we'll see already i said the strand which consists of polarity 3 prime to 5 prime is called template strand the strand which consists of the polarity 5 prime to 3 prime is called what is it called coding strand clear now these two the where the rna polymerase can attach it attach near the that is called uh, first uh, promoter site it can recognize the at region and it can attach so what about structural genes they are of two category one is monocystronic as in eukaryotes polycystronic as in prokaryotes so eukaryotes which possess the well defined nucleus and prokaryotes they do not have definite nucleus isn't it monocystronic in structural genes which can synthesize monocystronic mrna what is the meaning here in eukaryotes this each mrna it carries only one gene and which codes for one protein listen mono means one or single this one particular unit of gene so you can say each mrna it carries only one gene and it codes for only one protein so it is called as monocystronic mrna now what is polycystronic mrna in prokaryotes not a single gene cluster of related genes the genes are related to each other cluster group so these cluster of related genes are called as operons that are transcribed together and they form a single mrna right so single mrna consists of cluster of related genes what is the name for this operon so that is called as polycystronic mrna this is important two mark three mark question monocystronic polycystronic monocystronic means each mrna carries only one gene and codes for one protein as in eukaryotes and polycystronic means in prokaryotes cluster of related genes that is called operons which are transcribed into single mrna right now already i said there are two strands one strand with the polarity 3 prime 5 prime polarity is called as what is it called in a strand ma this uh, 
This three prime to five prime strand is also called as template strand. The strand with the five prime to three polar, three prime polarity is called coding strand, isn't it? Now we'll see the next one: structure promoter site and structure gene. What is the third one? Terminator. Mm -hmm. Before that, we'll see the difference between the two strands: template strand, coding strand. The main difference is in the template strand as the polarity. What is the polarity? 3 prime to 5 prime direction. What is the polarity in coding strand? It is 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Generally, we call it as in transcription unit in DNA, one strand which has the DNA dependent RNA polymer is bind to the particular promoter sites which catalyze polymerization. That is, catalyze the polymerization means more po uh, nucleotides are added, polymers of nucleotides are added in only one direction. So that strand is at, called as template strand. Okay, what is its direction? 3 prime to 5 prime. Clear? Huh? Now what is coding strand? Here also in the transcription unit in DNA, one strand with a sequence same as the RNA. But in DNA, time is there. But in RNA, what is that? Uracil is there. It is displaced. So only one RNA is formed for the coding strand. Clear? Huh? So not for the template strand. RNA is newly formed and this is having the base sequence instead of time in uracil. It is displaced. Okay. Change I mari displaced. Instead of time in uracil is there. So mRNA is formed during transcription. That is called coding strand. So for this strand only, the DNA is converted into RNA, not for this template strand. Clear? Huh? So two difference mRNA synthesis occur for the coding strand and the template strand polarity is 3 prime to 5 prime and the polarity of the coding strand is 5 prime to 3 prime. Now coming to the next one, terminator, this violet color. What is the terminator? It is a DNA sequence. Where it is located? It is located, this terminator is located towards the 3 prime end of the coding strand. Correct? This is located near the 3 prime end of the which strand pa coding strand. For this coding strand only, the RNA, it will be transcribed. So the place where RNA polymerase here, it stops its transcription. RNA polymerase attached to the promoter and initiate the transcription. RNA polymerase, it attaches to the terminator and stop the transcription. Now, I'll say about an outline of transcription before the process. First outline of transcription means for a gene to get transcribed, first the two DNA strands unwind. Unwind means separate, right? In case enzyme already we have studied, unwind temporarily. And this particular RNA polymerase enzyme, it binds to the promoter sites and open up. And the DNA, it forms, separate the two strands that is called transcription bubble. Okay, so usually in prokaryotic, next we are going to see, in the prokaryotic RNA polymerase has two important parts, components. One is core enzyme, another one is sigma factor. I will say what is transcription bubble and show to you. Now, this is the steps in, three steps in transcription, initiation, elongation, termination. First, I will say about initiation. So, you can identify this 5 prime, 3 prime and 3 prime, 5 prime. What is this yellow color? This is nothing but the promoter site. RNA, DNA dependent RNA polymerase can identify this promoter site which consists of AT rich Tata box region and it can bind to this site. Right? So, which consists of RNA polymerase consists of the core enzyme. What is inside? Sigma factor. So, core enzyme in RNA polymerase, it may be alpha, beta or beta dash. Responsible for RNA synthesis. And what is present inside pa? Sigma factor. Sigma factor is responsible for recognizing the promoter site. So it will, this sigma factor only identify this AT rich region in the promoter site. After binding, this sigma factor, it's not needed. It has to recognize only the promoter site. So it will left out. You can see here in the next step, it will left out. And what happened to the RNA polymerase? It can move ahead. So RNA polymerase, it move ahead, sigma factor is left. You can see here sigma factor left. But RNA polymerase from this side, it can move ahead. It will go forward and it forms 
the two strands of the DNA separate and they form a transcription bubble, elongated portion. It is called transcription bubble. Now you can see here this yellow color is called as RNA. RNA is formed which is having complementary to the template strand of the DNA. You can say at the end of the gene is a terminator sequence that forms a hairpin structure. It is formed. Here you can see a hairpin structure like RNA is formed which is complementary to the DNA strand. Here you can see in DNA strand guanine is there in the RNA cytosine. In the, in the DNA strand adenine is there in the RNA instead of thymine uracil is formed. Like this new RNA strand is formed. Right? At the end of this gene it's a terminator sequence it forms the hairpin structure like RNA and the terminator sequence here this green color is terminator sequence it is recognized by a rho factor or rho protein uh, that we will discuss in the next class. So I gave an outline about what is it called uh, transcription process. We will see next. Thank you.